Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Griffin Beacons. Available right now, it's $80. And what this is, is basically a Bluetooth adapter that works with the iPhone. Uh, allows it to turn the iPhone into a universal remote. And um, using the application called Digit, it essentially gives you a virtual remote control directly in your device, allowing you to control a bunch of different products, such as your television, cable box, DVR, and even Blu-ray players. So what's peculiar with the Griffin Beacons, its design, it's very minimalistic and at first we think that's just nothing but a polished stone, but uh, in fact it's uh, a lot of stuff inside of it. Um, on the front here there's an LED light to indicate if it's paired up to within, with an iPhone and you basically put it to pair mode by pressing down the uh, top part here down and you'll feel a click to it. Um, when you look at the bottom it shows you how to place it in, uh, to in your living room. Basically this front edge here has to point in the direction of your devices, your TV, your DVD, DVR, your DVD player, and this is where it, it receives the input from your remotes when you're trying to program them. So you place it just like that. It has a wide 180 degree angle, so even if it's uh, your devices are placed not directly in front of it, it still be able to uh, send out that signal. And as I mentioned, it's um, it's uh, Bluetooth uh, connected with your iPhone. Unfortunately, though, it is powered by four AA batteries. There's no external power source, and you need these four batteries. But so far, the battery life has been pretty good from what we'll be checking out, even though it's in standby mode and also constantly used over the course of a week now. So here we'll go through the Digit application, which is the universal remote application that's available for free through the App Store. And the nice thing about it, it offers a lot of functionality in the palm of your hands. So you have your channel lineups, it shows you the uh, stuff that are playing right now. You can change it for what's program, what's uh, being played later on in the day. If you make a selection, it shows you the uh, description of what's playing. It integrates some social networking access to it. So um, you have things like you can like it, you can not like it. Um, and on top of that, it goes into your My Shows. It shows you all the stuff that you've liked and what's playing. And you also have Netflix uh, integration with it. It just shows you your, your instant queue that's available right there. As far as the remotes, you go to the second tab here at the bottom, it says devices, and you have a virtual remote here system for your TV, your DVR, your cable box, a bunch of different stuff, and the nice thing is that the uh, tutorial in setting them up is pretty easy. Um, you have a lot, a lot of nice buttons here, of course, you have like the volume, the channel, the menu, input, and of course you could you could always personalize it, you could add a different different set of buttons, you could remove it, you could have different placement, you could have a secondary place too if you don't have enough room for the first one, just a lot of stuff which is definitely nice. The third tab is your activity. So it shows you all the uh, stuff that you're doing, like for example, watching TV. And you can have a different you have different activities such as programming your remotes, your receivers and all that stuff. Different room profiles here. Right now we have set for living room and of course the settings, which gives you useful things like the uh, battery level, 73% just because the Griffin Beacon doesn't have it directly on itself, so you have to go through the app. Alright, so now we'll show you just how the Griffin Beacon works in action. We have our TV right here. We have the iPhone 4 connected to the Griffin Beacon. Let's power up the TV, pressing the corresponding power button. You can tell in the background it's going to load up the television here really quick. And just nice, just because with the you're less prone to actually losing the iPhone versus a remote, which you can lose, of course. You know, it happens to everyone, but we're, we're a little bit more cautious with the iPhone. And so what's it turned on? You can do a variety of different functions. You can do volume up. You can tell it's raising the volume. Bottom down, change the channel, bring it back to the same one. A lot of nice, it's pretty instantaneous too, there's barely any delay or lag. So now let's turn on our DVR box. All we gotta do is just bring it to the other DVR remote right here. Let's power it on by hitting the power button. So there we go, we heard the click there, turned on. And now we gotta change the input because right now we're watching over the air TV. So all we gotta do is go back to the uh, regular TV remote, hit the input. And you can tell here it loads up the menu and using this navigational control here in the middle we can navigate to the correct input HDMI 1 in this case it's going to switch it to the VR box so it shows the content on the VR box now there's one thing that we do notice with it there's maybe a bug it doesn't happen with the regular television remote but with the DVR it could be just just because of our specific one but if we do channel up Sometimes it repeats itself, so it goes up two channels instead of just one. Um, and same thing with other functions, such as uh, when you hit like back or last, or if you hit the DVR menu, it seems to uh, execute the action twice. Who knows what it is? It could be more likely as some sort of software bug. Hopefully they could fix that, but a quick fix for us right now is by doing this. Go to advanced options, and you could do the IR repeats to only one 
or two, uh, an odd number, and it seems like it works temporarily. So if I press um, channel up, it's gonna change channel from two to three. So right now it's on channel three. So, but if we do it again back, if we uh, bring it one more channel up, it's gonna do it two times, so four to five. So unfortunately, um, it seems like it is something with the uh, software. So hopefully that gets fixed, but either way, it's pretty neat that you have this functionality available to you. So besides that one nagging issue with the Griffin Beacon just repeating itself when you're pressing channel up with our DVR box, everything else about it we like. The price point, its functionality, is just a lot to love with the Griffin Beacon. $80 for the unit, it's pretty reasonable, but of course you're gonna have to purchase some batteries, some down the road if it happens to uh, die out. But again, it does seem to last quite a long time. We're happy with the overall performance. A lot of functionality, being able to control a bunch of different devices from your DVR, your cable box, TV, DVD players, Blu-ray players, a lot of stuff. And of course, all fits in the palm of your hands, the iPhone. You don't have to have, it just it replaces a bunch of different remotes. And we def definitely like that convenience factor in it. On top of that, um, there's more stuff. You have like program channels. So without having to use the uh, menus within your cable box or something like that, you have everything on, at your hand with the iPhone, so it's pretty nice having access to that. So if you'd like to learn more about the Griffin Beacon, you can check out our website, funarena.com. Thanks for watching, guys.